Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to get into a forearm stand and then I'm going to show you all of the different props that could potentially help you get there. So I'm gonna meet you on your mat after you have already warmed up your body, opened up specifically the shoulders, heated up the back, the core, and then we'll get started. So if we are just learning the steps to enter a forearm stand without any props. We're gonna start in our dolphin pose. We wanna make sure that we keep those elbows underneath the shoulders. I actually even like to walk them in just a bit closer because it's very often that once we get that weight stacked on top, we start to wean or let those elbows kind of slide out ever so slightly. So I just like to accommodate for that. We have two different options for our hands here. We can have them flat and parallel, or we can have them clasped together, kind of making a triangle. And whether we have fingers interlaced or whether you wanna have palms down, I like to kind of like interlock my thumbs, is up to you. From here, we're pushing up, finding that dolphin pose. So the next thing that we wanna focus on now that we have found our dolphin pose is starting to create as much of a stack as we can. So we're gonna to start to walk the feet up a little closer. And as we do that, we wanna try our best to keep the push through the shoulders so that we don't let the head come forward. And what this does is just really allows us to engage the back, engage the shoulders. And then we start to lift one leg versus the other maybe just starting to rock forward. Maybe you wanna give yourself a little bit of a hop. To use some props to help you if we're not quite there yet, I've got a few things that we're gonna show you. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is using a strap. So the first thing I mentioned to you guys was the elbows have a tendency to want to slide out just because of the weight of the body once we get stacked. So something that we can do to help stop that is to add a strap around the forearms. You'll measure it to the distance and then that's gonna help keep those elbows in. Another great prop that you can use in place of a strap is a resistance band if it works to be the right length. Then you don't have to fiddle like I am with this strap. And then I can use that strap to keep my elbows in line when I'm getting into my forearm stand. So the next thing that I mentioned to you is that you can have option one, arms parallel, or option two, arms coming into a triangle. Option one, arms parallel, sometimes feels a little unnatural to the body. So that's where the second option comes into play. With that being said, if we want to work on making that posture of the arms parallel to one another feel more natural, we can grab a block and grab our fingers, placing them in an L position, grab them because they weren't around. <laughs> We're gonna place them down around that block. You've got your elbows underneath the shoulders. And then as you pop up, the block's going to stop those hands from coming in, which will also then help all of those muscles, tenants and joints get used to what it feels like with the arms parallel until they have the strength and mobility to just grip the ground by themselves without the block. Another way that we can use the block is to place them underneath the feet if we're having a problem finding that stack that I mentioned thirdly. So the stack, as I mentioned, is going to be where we've got the elbows in line with the shoulders, in line with the hips. So if we're having trouble finding that stack, we can use a prop like blocks or a chair or a couch or whatever, even walking up a wall to help us get that stuck before we try to find the flight. So coming into that dolphin position, maybe you've got the straps around the elbows, maybe you've got a third block in between the hands, but we can step onto the blocks, help us get that stack. And then maybe we find a little bit more ease coming into that forearm stand. The next prop is a prop very near and dear to my heart because it's the prop that really allowed me to find my forearm stand and that's a yoga wheel. And the yoga wheel really helps if you don't quite have the strength to leave the head when you're transitioning maybe from headstand into a forearm stand. So if you're looking to try to find that strength um, but you just can't quite find the transition between the two, this was my best friend. So how we can use the wheel is very similar to how we set the block between the hands in front of us, elbows down parallel as always. And then from here, coming into my dolphin pose, you're wanting to use 
a third point of contact similar to your headstand where you have your head against the ground, but instead we're gonna start to turn on more of the shoulders by pushing the head against the wheel instead. And what I found that this did for me personally was also help to start to find openness in the shoulders because the head was pushing, kind of allowing me to push through that armpit space. And eventually I was able to leave the head from the wheel. And that is my tutorial and all of the props that you can use to find your forearm stand. I really hope that this helped and I'll see you on the mat next time.